something strange is happening in the heart of the city. A transformation is taking place. The downtown streets are falling silent and being closed to traffic. The cool countryside might draw crowds in June or August, but in July, every summer, a city comes to life with music. One and a half million people gather in the heart of the city. Montreal International Jazz Festival is about to begin. The International Jazz Festival probably presents the legendary Jingits of Soul, Mr. Ray Charles. From a modest beginning in 1980, the Montreal Festival has grown to become an international phenomenon. It is celebrated as a musical rendezvous for the jazz greats as well as rising musical stars. The first headline performer, Ray Charles, set the stage for an eclectic lineup that would become the Montreal Festival's hallmark. The festival is also a celebration in its own right. There are many reasons why so many people say it has become the world's largest annual musical party. There's no question that the Montreal Festival is the best festival in the world. There's no question about it. You know, I don't think it's happening any, anywhere else, you know, on the planet these days, not like this. During 11 days in July, four city blocks are closed to traffic to let music take over the heart of the city. A musical village takes shape that is difficult to describe the skyscrapers almost vanish into a sea of human bodies. Despite the large crowds, the prevailing mood is a blend of festive and meditative, without barriers of culture, language, race, or age. It is impossible to tell if the festival has a utopian effect on festival goers, or if they come to the festival in the mood for a modern day communion. Today, more than 100,000 festival goers visit the site where 2,000 musicians from 15 countries perform 400 concerts on 10 outdoor stages and in eight concert halls. Behind the scenes, an award-winning organization of more than 1,000 people is at work in information booths, the press room, food and souvenir stands, cleaning the site and guaranteeing security. Less visible to the public, is the well-oiled machine of technicians, sound crews, and the drivers who chauffeur artists and run thousands of urgent errands. Music is, to me, that extra spice of life. Yeah, it makes you happy. You get to shake your boogie.
any music is played with a beat is jazz. Thirteen concerts daily in the same city, I'm full of people. This is something that any musician is very happy to see. interesting festival in terms of uh, the varieties of music, you know, a lot of the music or programming that he does here, uh, I happen to, to like, I would come to this kind of festival. Um, the setting is really nice because it's, it's a lot of people in the streets and utilizes all the different facilities around the area. From noon to midnight, over 11 days, the site's outdoor stages present 300 free concerts for one and a half million people with the widest range of musical tastes. Blues fans gather at the blues stage for the daily ritual. At the African stage, fans dance to wildly syncopated rhythms. Others flock to the fusion and jazz rock stage or satisfy their cravings for the New Orleans feeling of Dixie bands. Other people prefer to soak up the music and the atmosphere from one of the sidewalk cafes. Because we built 10 different outdoor stages on the site, each artist has more time to set up, to do the sound check, and in the end the performance is the best you can get, and the public can see the difference. The other thing is since all those stages are just a short walk from each other, people can just wander around and feel free to discover um, a Cajun band or a gospel choir from Georgia or the new saxophone sensation from Brazil. And, it's the magic of this festival. This is the way. This is the way where someone has managed to really involve the city and the community, people who are proud of, of their, their love for this kind of music and, and making a real special international thing happen in the city square. I mean, it's, it's unheard of. I mean, Montreux can learn a lesson. seen a festival this blown by that I mean this successful this is it seems the whole city is taking this and loves it and can't wait for it to happen
Testing one, two. Tasting one shoe. Euh, c'est quel genre de jazz, là, des spectacles ce soir? Bon, ben, ça commence à 4 heures, là, dans Saint Smoky. Ben, c'est qu'il y a tellement d'événements, c'est qu'on peut pas tous les voir, évidemment, là, tu sais. veut dire, qu'on choisit, on se promène, là, puis on, on choisit les sites, et puis on essaie d'aller avoir de, un peu plus de diversité, du jazz, du blues. There it is. OK. Yeah. Right. So you play the melody both times at, at the bridge. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow behind you. Baritone, baritone saxophone, right there. To Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Vous aimez la Suisse? Et nous, on aime le Québec, alors on est fait pour s'entendre. One of the important things about this festival, it is exposing people to jazz, especially in the outdoor uh, stages. A lot of people are seeing great jazz. the atmosphere, people enjoying themselves, people trying out different kinds of music on the various stages. And uh, the fact that a lot of that is for free is very impressive and also very good, I think, for jazz and the music in general, since people can, they don't feel they have to pay money, they can just come and sample different things, and if they like it, then they can pursue their curiosities if they wish. festival celebrates the diversity of jazz and its offspring. Throughout the century, jazz has crossed over musical barriers to influence everything from pop music to Latin rhythms and world beat. The reverse is equally true. Jazz has consistently revitalized itself by incorporating new ideas into its own vocabulary. We try to uh, represent or present on the stages uh, music or are related to the jazz idiom. So uh, we may find some Cajun music, some gospel music or ragtime music. Even sometimes we do focus on a uh, specific topic like uh, we did present in the past years um, a musician coming from Britain, young musician coming from Britain in a, in a specific series or from Belgium. So uh, it's a concept quite open for the free outdoor programming. Music today shouldn't have any barriers. It shouldn't have any uh, anything to get in the uh, in the way. And the fact that it's called a, a jazz festival is, is fairly accurate, but it's much more than that. It, it is music without uh, without walls. The 100 ticketed events presented in concert halls are the soul of the Montreal Festival. The announcement of the annual program is eagerly anticipated by jazz aficionados around the world because Montreal has earned a reputation for innovation. The program of the Montreal Festival is a creative extravaganza of customized musical partnerships which bring together artists and their mentors, cross-generational lineups and invitation series in which a particular musician is given carte blanche to perform every evening with different guests. onde eh, já me encontrei e, e trabalhei no palco com muitos amigos.
that was different than any anything I've done for 40 years with a, a, a jazz uh, performance at a festival. So that was great. So I, I like coming up here. They don't mind if you do something different. But uh, a second violin. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not quite the same as it is on the record. Music to me is transgenerational. I mean, I don't, I don't like all this focus on, on generation, you know, the whole focus that's been placed on, you know, young musicians or older musicians. And um, music for me is an emotional experience, and I'm trying to communicate emotions through music. about playing at the Montreal Jazz Festival is that you get the opportunity to play with, with a lot of different artists, you know, and see diff interesting couplings of artists that you wouldn't normally get to see because there's so many people here, so many artists from around the world. So, we, for instance, we got a chance to play with John Pizzarelli, you know, which was, which was a great experience for us, and we also got a chance to play with Joshua Redman this time around, which is also great. So it was, you know, that, that's really fun for us as a band. They all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. They all laughed when Edison recorded sound. They all laughed at Wilbur and his brother when they said man could fly. They told Marconi that wireless was a phony. It's the same old cry They laughed at me wanting you They said I was reaching for the moon mm, You came through And now they have to change their tune They all said we'd never get together They laughed at us and I Fella center, now they're fighting to get in. They all laughed at Whitney and his cotton gin. They all laughed at Fulton in a steamboat, Hershey and his chocolate bar. Ford and his Lizzie made the lavish dizzy. That's how people are. said it would be hello, goodbye. Mm, you came through, and now they're eating humble pie. They all said we'd never get together. They laughed at us and I. Well, my dear, 
The thing that strikes you about this festival is uh, its size and the breadth of its talent. Uh, the music, the people, the atmosphere, and each year it gets better and better. Here everyone seems very happy to be here. Uh, the fans, the musicians like Charlie Hayden who seems to be the sort of the jazz spirit of Montreal. Uh, I've run into him in the elevator in the hotel two or three days after he's played. You know, he's still here. so sadly <laughs> yes I love her yeah I would give my heart gladly but each day when she walks to the sea she looks straight ahead not at me qu'on peut bouleverser la vie de tous les jours, qu'on peut arrêter le, la rue, et puis fermer la rue et puis aller s'asseoir dans, dans des chaises où normalement il y a des taxis qui passent. Euh, C'est ça que les gens, ils ont soif de ça, de, 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 de tout ce qui change. Euh, il fait beau, il euh, n'y a pas euh, tant de neige, et puis euh, la vie est donnée au, au plaisir, au plaisir de la bouffe, de la musique. Euh, la danse, la sensualité, l'été, fait chaud, fait beau. Mm. La tente en chaud, on s'en va aller. Les éléphants ont enroulé. Tu sais ce que je pense de travailler, c'est trop de. Les éléphants ont enroulé.
but I'm willing to learn. But when I sing these blues songs, Have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down, relax. No, I'm 69. I'll be 70 in uh, September the 16th if I live that long. You know, it's a myth about the blues when you someone hurt you or something like that, and the only thing you can think of is the blues that makes you sadder, but that's not true. If something bothers me and I sing, I'm uplifted. I feel better. Thank you. The blues is more popular today than it's ever been, and it's going in the direction that I hoped it would be for 46 years. Jazz festivals as a, as a whole are great for music lovers, for people to go out, relax, have the family, have fun, and the biggest and best one, possibly Montreal. I think the mixture is good because you've got the roots people here. You've got guys like, you've got Buddy Guy and John Mayall, and you've got Joe Henderson, you've got Toots to Thielmans. You've got the jazz and the roots guys. I guess I'm the only sore thumb sticking out. I'm the rock and roll guy. I was telling Hollis Gentry, a sax player that's with us this year, I was telling him last night, I, we were looking at the list of such wonderful musicians, and I said, and there's our name. I said, isn't it nice that we're now included in these kinds of festivals? The Montreal Festival is able to offer a whole range of artists, people like Shirley Horn, Herbie Hancock, uh, Django Bates, uh, Barney Willan, the Dirty Dozen Brass Band. Each of those performers uh, typifies a different style of music, a different idea in jazz, a different kind of entertainment. So the ability to offer that uh, diversity in one setting is what makes this very attractive. People of all, of all persuasions can come here and pretty much find the music that interests them the most. I have that in <laughs> Hello. Hi. The festival is also a media event covered by more than 400 journalists from jazz specialists to mainstream media. It is an important rendezvous for industry professionals, record company executives, artists, agents, and other jazz organizers. The Montreal Festival is an opportunity for musicians to hold press conferences, record albums, showcase their work, or give workshops. Over the years, the festival has recorded a great number of performances which have been broadcast around the world. They're watching me. <laughs> you know, it is really great for this music to have a chance to to come and 
and play itself. It's just really great. Anyone wants to go waltzing in the garden? Is anyone who will dance up? J'adore ce festival. Pour moi, c'est le meilleur festival du monde. Et je dis ça sincèrement. C'est fabuleux. Donc, le fait d'être là trois, ans, trois années de suite, c'est euh, incroyable. I've never seen a festival like this where there is such a um, uh, openness between the people of the city and the people who come from all over the world. Here I am in Montreal once again back at the festival. Welcome to Montreal. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Gerald. You are welcome. This kind of atmosphere is very in, you know, very infrequently uh, associated with fine music. You know what I mean? Good music. Je suis autodidacte. Cette musique est tombée du ciel où on, où on peut improviser. Et c'est pour ça que je l'ai adopté. Et une fois pour toutes, quand j'ai entendu le premier disque de jazz que j'avais près de 15 ans, je dis ça, c'est ma musique. Je veux continuer comme ça.
je crois que les concerts extérieurs sont le bon complément des concerts euh, intérieurs, c'est-à-dire les concerts intérieurs, c'est pratiquement le jazz officiel, dirons-nous. Le jazz euh, avec des stars, avec, avec des vedettes, et l'extérieur permet de voir de, des choses qu'on ne voit plus guère en salle, des, des, des orchestres de rue, par exemple. Where do you come from? Australia. I come from Houston, Texas. Je viens de Paris. I come from Memphis, Tennessee, and I love Montreal. This is a great festival. Montreal has a history of putting on immense parties and inviting the world. Millions of visitors took away unforgettable memories of Expo 67 during the Summer of Love. The American Pavilion has been converted into the biosphere. The French Pavilion has become Montreal's casino. The next big party was the 1976 Olympics. The Olympic Stadium is now home to Montreal's baseball team, the Expos. During the summer, Montreal is a city of festivals, film, theater, French music, comedy, fireworks, and of course, the Jazz Festival. We got here yesterday just for the jazz, and we love it, and we go from one place to the other just to hear jazz, and we're here to celebrate our engagement. We got engaged last week. Montreal is a cosmopolitan city where French and English are spoken. It is the second largest French-speaking city in the world after Paris. The French ambiance is reflected everywhere, in the food, the fashions, and the joie de vivre. Old Montreal's narrow cobblestone alleys conjure up the sedate elegance of past centuries, while uptown Montreal is a high-octane blend of North America and modern Europe. there's something very special about the Montreal Jazz Festival that has a lot to do with the people that inhabit Montreal. I mean, you know, the, the fact that this is the only sort of non-English speaking area in, you know, most of North America um, gives it a completely different flavor than anywhere else. I mean, it's like being in in Europe in a lot of ways because, you know, it's, it's a completely different vibe. I mean, not only the language, but the way people look and act and talk and, and everything it has that the, the sort of Quebec thing. It's absolutely unique. And uh, that, I think, colors everything. I mean, it, it colors the way that everybody acts when they're here. You know, it's, it's a different kind of thing than being in New York or in New Orleans or any of the other places that have jazz festivals. No matter where I am in the world, when they uh, say, where are you from? And I say, I'm from Montreal, Canada. Uh, they immediately uh, uh, say, oh, what a fun city. During the Prohibition era, Americans came to Montreal to have a legal drink and listen to jazz. That legacy influenced many local kids. Pianists Oliver Jones and Paul Blay have both performed around the world. Trumpeter Maynard Ferguson got his start with Stan Kenton in the 40s and also went on to an international career. the greatest jazz artist to come out of Montreal is Oscar Peterson. By the late 40s, he was recording with Stan Getz alongside Ella Fitzgerald, Dizzy Gillespie, Lionel Hampton, and Coleman Hawkins. For many listeners, Oscar Peterson has personified modern jazz itself. 
When the Montreal Festival created the Oscar Peterson Award to honor the finest Canadian jazz artists, it was inevitable that Oscar Peterson himself would be the award's first recipient. Hopefully from years and years to come, it'll be passed on to various musicians of merit and players of merit. The festival also turns the spotlight onto up-and-coming Canadian artists with an annual jazz competition, the Du Maurier Limited Grand Jazz Award. Bassist Michel Donato was the first winner of the competition. After almost 15 years of honing his talent, he went on to also earn the Oscar Peterson Award. Every afternoon, the Montreal Jazz Festival focuses its attention on the family. The makeup artists who transform a day at the festival into a combination of carnival and Halloween are one of the many free of charge activities provided for children. The festival is an unforgettable child's initiation into the wide world of music. Ce qui est aussi important, c'est la petite école du jazz. Ça, ça me paraît absolument primordial parce que c'est un peu la, la fabrication des générations futures. Et dans, euh, c'est les gens dans 5 ou 10 ans qui vont acheter donc des, ces disques-là et qui vont s'intéresser au jazz. Et on a l'impression que le relais est, est presque déjà passé. The Little Jazz School shows children they are born improvisers while teaching them the basics of jazz. Oh, I gotta keep up, I gotta keep up. You wanna Moi, je trouve ça absolument génial de pouvoir se promener en plein centre-ville, en plein milieu des gratte-ciels, pour euh, écouter de la musique de, dans une ambiance euh, super chaleureuse. Tout le monde se promène, il n'y a pas de nicroche, c'est propre partout, c'est super. The essential stop for small kids is the festival's free musical park, which features huge instruments designed for children to let off steam in a musical setting. There is a saxophone-shaped slide, a crawl-inside clarinet, a giant piano keyboard, and a king-size vibraphone. Well, well, it's okay. I don't think I'll take it on the road. after night in different places, different festivals, and uh, certain nights, rare nights, there'll be an extra energy happen because of the, uh, the way the audience is following the music, and I thought last night was one of the best audiences we've ever had. The fact that the festival has gone on now for all these years 
has cultivated a very knowledgeable audience. I mean, you know, you know that when you play for a Montreal crowd, these are people that have heard Freddie Hubbard, they've heard Miles, they've heard, you know, Kenny Burrell, they've heard John McLaughlin, they've heard all of the major musicians of this time, usually lots of times. It's not uh, an audience that is just sort of overwhelmed by the fact that you're somebody that's supposed to be well known. It doesn't matter if you're well known or not, you've got to play good because these are people that hear a lot of music. In 1994, the festival received permission from the Miles Davis estate to create an award to recognize the lifetime achievement of an outstanding jazz innovator. The trophy design is based on a Miles Davis self-portrait that was first used for the 1988 Montreal Jazz Festival poster. The first recipient was guitar guru John McLaughlin. After working with Miles Davis on Bitches Brew, McLaughlin went on to break many musical barriers, pioneering jazz rock and world beat. The second recipient of the Miles Davis Award was another guitarist, Pat Metheny, who is a mesmerizing live performer. I'd say of all of the honors that I've been lucky to receive over the years, this one will probably be the most special one because of the, those two words, Miles Davis. <laughs> This is the Miles Davis Award. We know that lots of people our age, you know, complain they never saw John Coltrane live or Philonis Monk. Younger people now start complaining they never saw Miles Davis. Well, I can tell you that at least they will have seen the great Pat Metheny. <laughs> The festival has a special relationship with Pat Metheny. No other international musician has appeared in Montreal as often. One year he performed eight concerts with different musicians. Another year he chose the festival for the official launch of his album Secret Story. Pat Metheny was even invited to compose a work for Montreal's ballet jazz dance troupe. The Montreal Festival and Pat Metheny have in many ways grown up together. In 1982, he performed in an intimate club, and in 1989, at what is still remembered as a magical moment, he played for 100,000 fans at the festival's annual grand outdoor event. festival de jazz. On veut le rendre de plus en plus euh, utile à faire des choses qui ne se feraient pas autrement. Every year, the Montreal Festival presents a vast open-air multimedia musical happening that transforms the urban landscape. The walls of the skyscrapers become immense projection backdrops. The music vibrates across the entire site via sound relays and the performers' images are transmitted on giant screens. The size of this event is half the attraction. To sail out on a warm summer night into a sea of 100,000 music lovers in a downtown center is quite an experience. It is extraordinary to see such an enormous crowd that includes children on their parents' shoulders. A feeling is alive in the air that could best be described as a joie de vivre that is as palpable as the music. Watch the drums! For the first time here, and in America du Nord, Royaume-Uni, Galliano. People, how are you feeling? Ça va? Musicians, show me! Over the years, the site has been transformed into a mammoth urban dance floor, a gypsy camp, and a salsa party. The 1995 event featured the music from Montreal's internationally celebrated Cirque du Soleil, which drew a crowd of 200,000. 
the Montreal Jazz Festival has managed to become a phenomena in its own right. It satisfies the most rigorous jazz purists while creating a celebration of music in all its richness that crosses all barriers. That feeling in the air can only be understood by visiting the jazz site. The 11 days of the Montreal Jazz Festival return every summer at the beginning of July.